Kaylee Humphreys, day one done of the World Championships. Tell us about Altenburg 2021. Um, well, originally I was preparing for it to be Lake Placid for most of this year until right before the season. So it was a big change up to wrap my head around A, coming back. So part of it feels like I'm going back in time a little bit. We were here literally a year ago for this same time. Um, but I enjoy this track a lot. This is one of my favorite tracks. The ice felt amazing today. So kudos to the track crew. Um, they work really, really hard here. And overall, the track is very technically challenging. Um, it's very much a driver's track, which I enjoy. Um, but overall, you know, we've, we've got some work to do. I know the Germans and Alana are right behind me. It's not over, you know, we're halfway done. So I'm gonna now try and forget about today and just move forward and focus on tomorrow. A brand new sled, that's another little factor in the equation. It definitely is. I mean, I literally got this sled a couple days ago, uh, I had five runs in it before today. So today was run six and run seven. It, it was definitely daunting. Um, you know, most of these girls, every other girl's been in their sled almost or for all year. And I've kind of played musical sleds, but the focus was always on Beijing, trying to find out, you know, new things about different types of sleds, what works on what tracks. Um, with the focus being the Olympics, we have no idea what that track's going to be. So I just wanted as much knowledge as possible. But I really enjoy BTCs. I've driven them. I was comfortable. It's what I had. Alana sled actually is the one I drove here last year. So it, um, it, was, it felt familiar to get back into it. But it definitely, I'm still learning how that sled drives and this track in a very short period of time. It's, it's challenging for sure. But, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the challenge. So day one done, you're going to wake up tomorrow, open the drapes and see, well, potentially rain or sleet or snow or something. The weather may not be the same. And, and that throws another little factor in. Experience is your friend then, right? Uh, I think so. The hardest part is just choosing the equipment when the weather changes. So you're trying to read a forecast. You hope the weatherman is right. But a lot of it's just going to be, you know, wake up in the morning, see what happens. Um, rain changes the ice condition. It usually makes it a bit softer. You know, snow, it's usually a bit colder. Is the ice hard? Is there snow on the ground and on the track specifically? Is it cleared? Um, you know, the humidity in the air will also change the ice condition. So the more conditions a pilot has driven, the better. Definitely, they understand a bit of what the sled's going to do with their equipment, but then hopefully they can choose the right equipment for that weather. We have different equipment for all different types of weather conditions. So part of it's a bit of a guessing game and, uh, you know, we'll see who guesses best for tomorrow. All right, well, you've got a lead that the others would kill for, but you've got two hungry young Germans behind you, and Alana is nobody's fool either. Potentially, we could have a big battle on our hands tomorrow. I think we definitely will, um, especially on this track. A lot can happen. Weather, like I said, weather plays a factor, but this track will challenge the best of us, and it's going to be a battle right to the end. The Germans are hungry. I know they're coming. So is Alana. Um, but it's anybody's game. Tomorrow's a brand new day, and, you know, we'll see what happens.